I am a school teacher in the time of COVID-19. I teach social studies to eighth graders. The majority of Freeland students are going to uh, be face-to-face -face, and um, those that are going to choose to you know have remote learning um, will have that option provided for them as well. The desks are spaced out quite a bit. We have you know, usually 30 to 32 students, now we'll have 20 students. The students will be staying in the classroom instead of changing classes. It's the teachers who will be doing the rotating to different classrooms. Uh, we'll have uh, a lot of cleaning going on. We'll have hand sanitizer stations all over the place. Obviously, we all have concerns. Um, this is just a very new situation for everybody. We're optimistic, cautiously optimistic. And personally, I just can't wait to get back with my kids. This is our first day back at school. For all intents and purposes, it was a pretty successful day. I'm very proud of the students for uh, being able to wear their masks throughout the day, um, doing a good job with the social distancing. They seemed very excited to get back in the classroom. Um, teachers felt the same way. We are going to be welcoming our second group of students in today. We are on what's called an A-B schedule. Yesterday we saw students with last names A through L. Today we'll have students with last names starting with M through Z. And, uh, I think the teachers, including myself, were a little bit more used to the routine of moving from class to class. Things seem to go very, very well, so I'm um, quite encouraged for the rest of the week, rest of the month rest of the school year. We are entering day three of our back to school and uh, one thing I just wanted to point out this is our hallway and um, you're looking at these uh, red circles they're exactly six feet apart and that is to encourage the students as they're walking through to stay six feet apart. Well week one at Freeland Middle School is in the book it is Thursday um, school has ended and uh, we're off for the long holiday weekend Things went really, really well. Uh, the safety protocols uh, worked like a charm. Um, you know, the students did a great job um, following all of those protocols, doing a good job wearing the masks, social distancing, and um, once we got into the curriculum, it was just like uh, like it was before March. Today is September 17th, or in my social studies world, Constitutional Day. This week has been a little bit unique compared to the others as we have had all students back. Uh, we're no longer on an A-B schedule. Students uh, are doing kind of what students of that age would do. You know, they like to see their friends, they like to visit their friends, and we've just had to give them some friendly reminders that they need to do a good job staying six feet apart and uh, respecting that social distance protocol. I do feel that the kids um, are really, really handling things well. I think the teachers are handling things well, the administration is, and therefore kids are learning. Um, it has created some extra work and there's no question about it. Um, you know, we do some extra cleaning that we haven't done. We um, have to take some precautions that are ex extremely important and we're happy to do. I don't think too much about getting sick myself. I know it's a possibility. I know this pandemic is very real and it could happen. But um, I also believe that you know, wearing the mask and following the other protocols, the social, social distancing, um, other things of that nature, you know, we're going to be okay. Um, our students feel safe. In fact, they probably feel more safe than we do. Sometimes they feel too safe. I have no idea what to expect the rest of the school year. Um, you know, I, once I think I, I know where things are going with the pandemic and how things are going to look, um, it totally changes. What I hope is that actually more students are able to join us and um, as our, our infection numbers go down, um, hopefully, you know, we can kind of have our normal class loads and, and once again have the students eating in the cafeteria and once again have the students changing classes and moving around because it's good for them to do so. Um, but I sure can't predict anything like that. I just don't know.